Today is day three of the three day split created by Semper Fit 365. We're gonna work on booty and triceps. First up, Bulgarian split squats. For the first set, I used 12 kilogram weights for four reps. Make sure on your way down, you slightly are inclined forward to keep that back aligned and the right muscles engaged. We're gonna be doing four reps on each leg. For this first set, make sure you use a heavy, heavy weight that you can do the four reps correctly, but still feel that challenge of the weight. Make sure your knee does not pass your toes and that you keep your core engaged for balance and proper form. For the second set, I decrease the weight to 15 pounds and increase the number of reps to eight reps on each leg. The form is the same for this set. Slight inclination forward on your way down to engage the glute and keep your back aligned. Core tight, knee does not pass toes, and you're breathing. After eight reps on one leg, you switch on over to the other side and complete your eight reps as well. This typical pyramid scheme by Semper Fit 365 is really going to get in those results because as you go on through your sets, though you decrease the weight, you're increasing your reps or vice versa. So you're shocking your muscles and really making sure that you build that volume. After this set, you're going to do two more sets. For the third set, you decrease the weight again by about five pounds and increase the rep. Same thing for set four. Next up, goblet squats. For this first set, I used 14 kilograms as my weight and I did four reps, really squeezing my glute at the top, making sure I am building the muscle that I want to build. Doing these four reps slowly will really ensure the proper activation. After taking a two minute break, I continue with the next set. I used a 12 kilogram kettlebell as my weight and I performed six reps. Nice and controlled, squeezing the glute at the top. Again, by decreasing the weight and increasing the reps, you're doing the pyramid scheme, shocking your body and building muscle. For the last and third set, of this goblet squat movement, I used 10 kilogram kettlebell and I performed eight reps. Again, in accordance with the pyramid scheme, decreasing the weight and increasing the reps. After this third set, make sure you take a three minute rest because your glutes and legs will be on fire. Next up, we've got step ups. For the first set, I used 10 kilogram kettlebells on each hand and I performed 10 reps. As you will see in this video, this weight was a little bit too challenging for me and I lost my form. If this happens, make sure you decrease the weight for the next set. And if it's super troubling, then stop in the middle of your set and change the weight. There's nothing wrong with that. So this movement targets your quads, your glutes are also activated if you lean forward on the way down. You really want to use the heel on the step to guide your movement upward and lift yourself up. After completing the 10 reps, switch on over to the other leg. I also did 10 reps with 10 kilogram kettlebells on this leg. Though it was a little too challenging, I was still able to complete the movement, so I stayed with the same weight for this set with the plan to decrease the weight for the following set. Keep that core nice and tight and use the leg on the step to guide your movement. As you can see, I'm already losing my form a little bit and that is not the goal. You want to use the muscles that you're targeting to guide your movement. 
so that you can gain the gains in the areas that you want. After a three minute rest in between sets, I went on and I started the second set of the step ups. I used six kilogram kettlebells on each arm and I completed 15 reps. As you can see, my form was not compromised and I was able to complete the movement in a much better way to target my legs rather than my entire body. After completing those 15 reps, go ahead and switch on over to the next leg. Again here, we're going to complete 15 reps with 6 kilogram kettlebells in each hand, as we did with the other leg. Make sure to use your core to your advantage by keeping it squeezed and contracted the whole time, maintaining balance, and really maintaining that form that will allow you to use your glutes and quads to guide you in this movement. Also use your breath to your advantage. Breathing will help you finish a set more productively and efficiently, making sure that the blood is sent to those muscles and they grow. After the second set, you will do two more sets with the same weight and the same reps. Make sure you rest though, that's when muscles grow the most. Next up, we've got single leg bands, dumbbell curls. For this exercise, we're going to be doing four sets of 15 reps in each arm. I am using three pounds just because my goal for my arms is to keep them nice and cut, not to build too much muscle. If you wanna build more muscle, go ahead and increase that weight. After 15 reps with one bicep, switch on over to the next one. The purpose of balancing in one leg is to make sure your legs are still engaged, as this is a leg slash booty day. Aim for two to three minutes of rest in between your sets. Next up, back to our booty, we've got some single leg glute bridges. These are intense, killer, and amazing all in one. We're gonna be doing four sets of 10 reps. I use a 10 pound dumbbell to have that weight in there, really, really trying to build some muscle in my glutes. Once you finish those 10 reps, switch on over to the other leg and do 10 reps as well. The purpose of doing this single leg style is to really, really target the individual glutes and not have your dominant side take over. This makes sure that your right and left glute are up to par and really, really build some muscle. Last up, we've got some cable rope tricep push downs. Here we're gonna do the first set for 15 reps using 10 pounds to really, really wake up our triceps. After this first set of 15 reps, you're going to do three more sets in a lower rep range with higher weight. Great job, you've survived the third day of a three-day split created by SemperFit365. Make sure you check them out. They've got one-on-one -on -one training, personalized programs, nutritional help, and online coaching.